Welcome along to Sweet Street Scotland 65. Home of the satirical salt, I am Simon Bridges, and Peter. Uh, we were in eight scores. My co host, as usual, is JB White's name. Right, John, how are you going, buddy? Not bad, Peter. How are you keeping, sir? Yeah, all right, mate. All right. I've been nothing doing actually earlier the new year, to be fair. Um, but after we were going, so we need to say, um, 2021 AA, so after Alex, I was uh, <laughs> This is a come down. <laughs> aye, the come down. Aye, that's, I think that's what it felt like. It was no well, mate, a wee bit. I was like, like just a couple of illnesses, a couple of like, sicknesses and what have you. You know, coronavirus or anything like that, just, just yeah. sickness and what have you. Um, so I'm starting to kind of get older a wee bit now. I know I look like a pasty fish, right? But that's just that's just how it goes, brother. <laughs> um, but I am. We were supposed. To, I was supposed to be doing a podcast with we billboard Chris, who is going across North America with a billboard on saying that um, nobody's born in the wrong body. Um, but he took he took a head cold. Uh, John was doing that with Ireland, supposedly. But he took a head cold, and he says he would rather kind of a change it, reschedule it, rather than come across like as if all stuff and what have you. So uh, that's that's happening next week. Um, mm-hmm. I've got I've got a hang. That are happening. Um, so I'm getting myself kind of a back on track a wee bit. But other than that, I've been, I've been a, I've been a wee bit up and down with the politics and as usual again. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is kind of a sick. I'm, I was a wee bit up because I don't know. I, I, I must, I, this is obviously sick. I'm doing this in the wrong way. A wee bit sick because Michelle Moan and our Corruption, um, <laughs> the, the PPE scandal with the Tories, not me, like Lady Moan, or whatever she say, like her and her. Um, so I, like, I know you should feel bad that that happened, but it's good news for a Scottish perspective that this is getting called, is, is how I felt. And then like, the crash of the, the pure downer, like Chris Hanlon was there, but Devo Max. Yeah, aye, aye, that was just a strange one. I just thought, where, where's that come from? And obviously, there's sinister forces uh, at work there, like, you know, let's fling that sort of dead cat on the table and sort of get a reaction to it and see what happens, like, eh? Aye, uh, well, I mean, what is there's definitely, it's definitely good folk talking, let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good folk talking. Look, I, I'm nailing my colours to the master, the master now. No, mm-hmm. not by Devo Max. Don't bring back Devo Max as an option. Yeah. You're selling it to Scotland if you if you dare bring that back as an option. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's, that's my personal opinion. Yeah, um, that that seems to be the the, the synopsis of it. When I've been on Twitter, people are just saying that we're not having it. And, and bear in mind what happened the last time they talked about. Gordon Brown says uh, he said in 2014 that uh, the Scottish Parliament would have equal status with Westminster. Uh, become we become kind of federal state uh, within two years of voting no to independence. He stated that, uh, and he said the vow was delivered. So the son of the man says a barefaced liar, right. uh, so, and he was putting lie with the same things again. So they're looking to find that I don't know four, six, eight percent that are a bit gullible that think, oh, okay, and that might sound that you know, like try try to put kind of cream in a shite, like you know what I mean, and make it a cake. <laughs> <laughs> I try to polish a tub, aye, that's it. I try to put glitter on a fucking shit, aye. aye. I, I was trying to swear, but you've you've got it wrong already. Right. So um I heard he was saying that he was trying to open up the debate on Devo Max, um, which look I've I've since heard that he said that it was him himself that was having a thought about this over, over the festive period. And he wrote a piece and he submitted it to the the, the national and they printed it. And it was mm-hmm. page. There was no connection mm-hmm. to the party, there was no connection to policy within the party, you no know, like distancing himself yeah. <clears throat> for the, the implications. I mean, having read the full article, I mean he did go on to describe independence. Like and again it, <laughs> it sensationalized the head sensationalized yes. the headline. That's what uh, it's meant to do, yeah. However, at a time when the national, who or the SNP, like choir, but but let's 
say that we're having another independent. I mean, like you've seen all the you've John, you've you've seen the posters on Twitter. Don't tell me you've not seen the posters on Twitter that are right. up one after the other, right? Into coming, into coming, into this year, How many times is it until folk? Look, like, here's a, let, let's be let's be frank here. Do you think that an independent referendum is going to be delivered before a general election, John? Doubtful because of uh, the mechanics of it, uh, because it's it's not at the behest of the Scottish government to do that. Uh, she's going to have to put her neck on the line. Her neck's on the line anyway, but she doesn't have the levers to do it. Uh, and I and I, I question whether uh, she's got the bollocks to do it either as well. Like she needs to do it, uh, but her she's really got her, she's nailed it to twenty three. And and if she's no putting the, the blocks in place in 22 for 23, then it ain't going to happen. Now, they're talking about this thing, they're sending out a thing, uh, 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 some sort of booklet thing that uh, is going to go to these independents so we can answer all the questions and all that. So uh, that's uh, here's the first step. Yet. There's a hell of a lot more to be done in a short space of time. Uh, and then you telegraph what they're doing and get people involved that if it's going to happen like that. But it's the balls in England's court, they, they, they control the... The, the agenda basically they, they can back it back and back it back and just keep flinging grenades back at her and she's up a gum tree basically uh, because she's not going to go against the British establishment so what chance have we got in? what's the point here? yeah well yeah, hey, there's a big question man there's a lot of people who still believe that she's going to do it I've got to say that you speak to a lot I see a lot of people on Twitter they still have faith in her and I'm not going to slag her off and say right she's not going to do it now it's not going to happen but that, that I can't see if, if she surprises her own does it great good on her gives a, a referendum and, and come through on multiple elections but uh, it's going to be very difficult for her to do that and there's no way for it to hide uh, and that, that's the cold hard facts yeah. is she going to do it John? I or no? I hope I, yes I don't I think she yes. well, means is no I disagree with you. I hope she's going to do it, but the, the signs aren't good because it's been in the deep freeze for that long. You know what I mean? Uh, it's going to be hard to get it do what she says she's going to do uh, because it's been so inactive, because it's been in cold store, because it's been the stop button's been pressed years ago and nothing's happened. And you think of all the things political that have happened in the UK since then and how bad politically it's getting in the UK week after week, month after month, and there's no kickback from it. There's, there's no resistance to it. We're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs, watching it get worse and worse, uh, and potentially seeing our chances of independence disappear because of their inaction. Uh, but time will tell. Somebody's rang, uh, and, some, and we'll find out sooner rather than later, maybe. Aye. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'd, I'd rather be wrong. I'd rather be wrong. No, I mean, I'd yeah. rather be the, the yeah. one that, that although I'm saying no, has proved wrong in this situation. Yeah. Can't see it happening. But, and mm -hmm. for me, there's still too many, too many folk with drinking the Kool-Aid, taking the SNP Kool-Aid. It's like, hold on, you're no, it's no the Nicola Sturgeon party. It's no. It's, and and it's independence she goes. Yeah, independence doesn't belong to the SNP and it never has. Uh, they were the vehicle for a long time. But, uh, the wheels seem to have come off that particular car. It's with that horse box is in the land grass. <laughs> and the uh, independence horse box. Seen a picture in Twitter <laughs> there. And there's about seven foot of grass running about it, Ken. That, that really that's... tells you it's, getting, it's spreading the message like Ken. Michael Russell's like, trying to figure out what point of the fucking 11 point plan he's on. I know. I'd let, I'd, I'd, mate, right, well, here, here let, let's see this way then, right? Let's, let's talk mm. about this way. For, for whatever reason, right? But let's say I don't look up scenario, right? But but no, the end of the world. But the end of, the end of Westminster and the Scottish Parliament, right? Or the, the, the heads of them. And they drew a lottery. And the more your name get pulled out of that lottery is the person that was going to be the, 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 the new First Minister of Scotland or or, or whatever it is, right? And and you've got you've got a, an English counterpart that's name has been Drew, right? And so they're the Boris Johnson equivalent. I just think about that's right, but they're no Boris Johnson, right? We'll try and make them kind of a statesmanly, like one of the 
the other Victorian Prime Right, forget it. Uh, right, aye, cause they're, 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 they're off odds, right? But no, I'm just taking the piss here, right? But they get pulled out and they say that, well, no, we're keeping Scotland. Use the use real chat and this is what's happening. What are you saying? First Minister of Scotland. Right. I'd be saying, well, aye, yeah, I'd be saying, well, the, the union's done. We, we're telling you now that we're dissolving the union uh, and that'll be right away. We're, we're dissolving the union as from you don't notice. 24 hours notice, it's done, and here's why it's broken. List of the right. things that they've done and they're continuing to do. So how the fuck can you do that, Nicola Sturgeon, in position at the minute, can he? Mm-hmm. Well, that's it. She doesn't want to, I think it's the case, it's always been the case with the SNP. They don't Scottish want people dying, John. Eh? Scottish people are dying, John. I know, I know. And, well, they've, 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 empowered that. they've empowered that. They've empowered the SNP. They've empowered, they, they've given a clear mandate, a clear instruction, and it's not been delivered. And there's a whole load of people who are very, very frustrated and angry about that. Uh, and they'll live kind of stay on that forever. And there's a lot of people, as I said, that still got a lot of faith in them and good on them for having that. But there's a lot of people out there, what's happening? Why is that happening? Britain's going to hell in a handcart, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, and we're sitting on the back and we could have been after this damn thing. Aye. Well, I mean, it's yeah. like, it's obviously frustrating, right? <clears throat> I, read a, I read a tweet the other day. Um, it may have been this morning. I, I, I've lost my days, if I'm honest, John, right? It may have been this morning. Yeah. I actually read it. Um, and it was, it was something who said, quite poignant, actually, about the father had passed away. Um, at 76 years of age, he was a Scottish independent supporter, and he referred to Nicola Sturgeon saying that she's... That, She's got time. And his, his message was, no, you've no, because you've got people that like people at my yeah. who supported independence because they were 14 years of age and dying at 76. Yeah. But I mean, but yeah. hold on, we could boot it up. And you're mm-hmm. you're what you're 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 you're, you're stalling for what reason? You stalled yeah. over Brexit, right? You stalled when 56 yeah. MPs re- represented down at Westminster. You stalled at Brexit, you've stalled. <clears throat> you've, you've repeatedly stopped. Why? Well, see, that, uh, that's a big mistake <laughs> that some people have pointed out. You can't save England from Brexit. Our job is to save Scotland from Brexit. No, England, no trying to uh, convince England that Brexit was wrong. Now, England voted for that, and it was a fraudulent election. There's a lot of money going places and backhanders and uh, dodgy dealings and all that, but England voted for it, so England should get it if that's what they want. But Scottish and Scotland should be put first. We didn't vote for that, we're not having it. Uh, and you're employed, you're, you're employed and empowered by the people of Scotland, not England. England hates you. Go on and do the job you're paid today. You can't save England from Brexit. That's your choice. Uh-huh. And, and, and what about the carry-on within the party itself? I mean, even the day, I don't know if you've seen this, John. Um, Joanna Cherry was appearing on a, a talk show. With... Nigel now, Farage was one of them. Kit Malthouse. Uh-huh. The other one, mm. and forgive me, I can't remember who the, the fourth one was. But it was just basically it was the comment that um, he put against Joanna Cherry. You know, that because of the internal care between some of the SNP and Joanna Cherry. I mean, I, I see this, and I go, "That's no representative of why I gave the SNP my first vote." Mm-hmm. In May, I was asked to give my first vote, both votes, yes. There was no representation on any electoral information, any um, manifesto that I've seen that mentioned the GRA, and that's what they're, they're selling it as. The treatment mm-hmm. to certain people, I mean, there's celebrations of pedophiles over rape victims and like um, people who abuse, sexually abused pets over sexual abuse victims. I mean, there's something morally and ethically wrong within the SNP that this is, that these are that these are the MPs and, and there are qualities conveners and what have you, John, and it like, doesn't sit well with, it, with, with me as, as a person, morally and ethically. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a case of there's danger there. I, I just see danger. Yeah. And, I didn't, I didn't put my mark in the box for, for, for that. And I don't know any many other folk that did. And yet, these are the things that we're having to bat out the way when we should be focusing on independence, John. Yeah, and I think it's absolutely <laughs> atrocious. I think it's like negligent. Um, 
and Nicola Sturgeon to have no acted before now. Yeah, 100%. And as we see how the Tories have treated the pandemic, we was it 37 billion for their test and trace? And now it's and now they're scrapping it, by the way. They're scrapping it. It's no, it's no purpose. And where right. do you see the media speaking about that? Nobody's mentioned Aye. it. You don't, be, you don't see it mentioned, right? And then this this carry on we we certain people through the pandemic and the treatment that they received di differentiating um with the Tories and their parties. With the Greens, the, the Greens travelling to a pub and 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 um what do you call that uh, meeting together, being in a moving in a bubble, and yet Margaret Fenner's getting charged with the police for, for, for travelling. And I don't say that what she done was right, mm -hmm. but the consistency between how people are getting treated and how the judiciary are getting used seems no, to be worrying no. for where Scotland's going to be, John, because, again, I can see... <coughs> excuse me. I can see the, the state that Westminster's in. We both can. We both can see that the, the state that it's... it's Potentially taking us to, or, or, or where, we're, where we're heading in very quickly. And and I wonder if, I wonder if Nicola Sturgeon sold out. And when I say sold out, I did let sold out herself and sold out Scotland to well to, to venture capitalists to the to the to the elite that she's she's been cowtowing with the in her three thousand pound Vogue coat, you know, and, and and all the faces that she's been seeing. Because it's certainly no use to progress independence. That's and fair. That's, there, there is no progress in independence, and that's the frustration. No. Uh, and you get things that, like, for example, uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, Keith, I mean, sorry, Kia uh, Hardy, uh, when he's really on the uh, Keith. <laughs> 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 I did like that. Uh, and he done a yet another relaunch, another bamboo. I think this is his 17th relaunch. He had his. Union Jacks all around him, and he went to Great and spent to say he is a nationalist covered in Union Jacks. Can they? I, 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 England team. I, really love, I, I really want to know how people who, and they're perfectly right to be, or perfectly of their own choice to be na British nationalists, but why don't they accept the British nationalists? Aye. Who do they think they are? When they're waving flags about red, white, and blue, they are British nationalists. This is, of course, Scottish nationalists, fair enough, but they are British nationalists. But they don't even see themselves as nationalists. They see themselves somewhat above that. I don't understand that connotation like It's hilarious. It's, it's pathetic. Uh, anyway, get back to that point. Uh, dear old Keith talking a lot of twaddle uh, and basically saying, oh, he believes in the, the right of uh, people to choose and he believes in justice and fair play, but no for Scotland. Uh, and even on that, there's a bit of scene and I retweeted as well about one of his major backers was a, a, an entity who's got billions of pounds invested in American healthcare, who's looking for multi-billion pound contracts for the NHS. Now they, they supported Keir Starmer and his Labour leadership, but they gave him money. And you've now got West Streaking, who's one of these up and coming Labour poster boys saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have private NHS, uh, private help them out the NHS and get all these backlogs out the road? Oh, well, that might be quite nice, but as you say, once you open the door to privatisation and the Tories already kicked the doors off the hinges anyway, there's the Labour Party now inviting, talking up the involvement of private healthcare in the English NHS, which will come to Scotland as well, because we all know Boris and the boys down the road are just going to bypass the Scottish Parliament. They're just going to treat them as a wee side show, a wee, a wee toon parliament, a wee toon house, bunch of daffies. We'll take the reins. Here's what's happening in Scotland. They'll do the same in Scotland as they're going to do in England. And there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it unless we get independence. So if they don't get off their arse and start getting their, their arse in gear and getting things moving to stop them dismantling the NHS, then all hell is going to break loose. And, and it's unforgivable. It's unconstitutional. It's it's horrific what they're sitting twiddling their thumbs and what's coming. The, the bad, bad things haven't even started yet with Brexit. Just at the beginning of this a week ago, the whole load of new rules and regulations coming in for imports and exports going in and out of the UK. Uh, it, it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, another shelf business up there I've seen had 80 odd employees. It's now down to 20 odd employees because it's just no effort. But it's, you just can't get the stuff exported. 
Uh, and they're still, you've still got all the, the Daily Telegraph, the Daily Mail, and the Britain Art Media trying to paint it out with some sort of glorious victory. They haven't a clue what Brexit's done. It's, it's a calamity. And they're still trying to, uh, as I say, put shite on, fucking glitter on, uh, on a tabloid. Uh, and you've got the British, the media, that fascinates me how bent these lot are, how corrupt, insidious, odious, evil people these are. They're, they're corruptors. They're, they're pets. That's all they do. They're doing the, the politicians dirty deeds for them. They, they're, they're setting the politicians up. They don't ask any decent questions. Of them. They just let them spout out the precast lines and blah, blah, blah. This is what's happening. We're doing it. It's a lot of shite. Uh, and Scotland's getting sucked in that panhole where uh, uh, it's pathetic. It makes me want to puke. Sorry about that. <laughs> you're all right, mate, while you're in. No, Run right over. Take a breath if you want. I'll no, carry no. on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I will talk about the media. We we made the papers. Aye, we're saying aye. The, the, and the code is nationalist by G. The nationalist. Who dare they? The bastards that they are. YouTube channel, I think they meant to say. Nationalist. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is that the national? The nationalist. Who in the code is yeah, it? What is it? What is it? No, you can't use any other material. Fuck off, you unionist rag. <laughs> <laughs> I actually seen someone else that actually took some uh, a clip it. So I did this the offline. And there was some that actually took a bit that Alec was speaking to yourself and they put it on a wee bit, they cut it a bit out of the tweet sheet thing, they put it on another sort of another wee sort of post. So I don't know if they contacted uh, us here. Uh, it's, 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 that's Peter from Scott News. Puts the sound clips and that one. I I, that Peter, Peter helps us out be posting that. Kids that John. <coughs> anyway. My help. Like, I, I, I struggle, I struggle with day what a day, right? It's mm -hmm. like, how, you, how I do what a day, right? It's just a case of fucking, right? Pain in the arse. But I do it. So I put it out, and then that's it out, mate, right? But folk are saying is, oh, you should chop this down, and you should do that, but you should do that, but, and do that, and then like, I, I, mate, I'd be doing one show a month if that was the case, but <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> No, it takes me a long time to do what I do. Um, it's it's footery, you know what I mean? It's like it's, I when you when you get it a certain like you, you, you want to get a wee bit better each week. You want you want to improve, you know what I mean? So see when see when some of the transitions on the right or some of the like there was a, there was a blur that was put on. Alex asked me to put a blur on on one one of the bits on the, the old the the one that we done just as it was ready to premiere, right? Yeah. No, there's, 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 like, I send folk, like, listen, this is, this, you say to folk, this is what's happening, and I'll give you a chance to watch it before it goes live. So I said, let me know, but let me know ASAP within this. So yeah. it was just due to go, when it, and the phone went, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, who's this? So of course it's Alex Salmon, right? Oh, no, could you do this? And I'm like, oh, I, I'll try and do it. So I was trying to do it well at the premium, right? So it was doing a wee bit blind and, and, and it didn't it didn't it, it didn't quite get all the it, it got more than the, the bit that need blurred out. Let's put it that way. Too many words, right? So it didn't look great. But I done mm -hmm. I done a re-edit and just mm -hmm. uploaded the re-edit. Um <laughs> I can't remember until I started telling you this. So it's it's footery, it's really footery for that idea. And you mm -hmm. want it to be good and you want it to get better each time. Yeah. So when you when you when there's things that don't go right, but uh -huh. ask them. But so I expect other people see them as well. And then if they say oh, what's this, it's like all right, okay, I'll try to make sure it. So you're putting that bit of pressure on yourself to make sure that it's it's all yeah. right for you so that folk get a yeah. bit of enjoyment with it. Or they like the chat, they like the posters, or whatever it is, whatever it is that's happening. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. So I put a bit of it just like, to try and put it out. A decent, a decent standard, mate. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're quoted in newspapers and when other folk ask you, they're like, "Oh, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this." <laughs> Listen, it's not done. It's not done. It's not done. I've done what I've done already. That's me, right? I'm not going back to it again after that. Have to. Mm -hmm. um, it's good to take the occasional week. See, like a wee montage. But yeah, what folk have said. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to try at one point do that, maybe for our first birthday, because our first birthday is in February, uh, March, mate. 
How was it, Benny? Aye, aye. The seventh of March is the first birthday. Alright. Uh, so I'll sign the like a wee birthday party. A wee, yeah, wee, yeah. wee something birthday for the seventh of March. Uh-huh. Uh, but we've got a couple of things coming up. Actually, we've got a couple of things uh, coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got myself and Ireland coming up with Billboard Chris. I've got a an interview with a lassie called Heather Mason from Canada. Oh, I've still arranged the time with this, John. Um, a woman's rights. She's uh, a reformed uh, criminal, um, but she's woman's rights. Uh, and talking about things that go on inside jails that not a lot of people see. Uh-huh. So we've got to hear a wee bit about that for her soon. Um, Billboard Chris is coming on in the next week. Alba Youth is coming on. We've got to speak to Alba Youth. I'm trying to reach a date where mm-hmm. they're to, mm-hmm. to kind of a that's got a suit because obviously some of them work some of them are uh, the university or, or busy doing other things so it's trying to get a thing that's 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 manageable yeah. and we've got the first independence folks forum the, the Scottish thinking independence folks forum up maybe try and do something for Burns night I don't know see what's happening <laughs> there because obviously Burns is a big thing in Scotland so We'll try and get it back to talking about independence because yeah. as much as we might or we might not believe mm-hmm. we're getting a referendum, I'm not getting a referendum in 2023. <laughs> um, let's have a conversation. Let's have the country having a conversation. Yeah. Or let's let's at, at least attempt to have some people in the country having a conversation. Eh? Um, yeah. So... Ah, if you're interested, get in touch. We'll be looking for audience members. We've got to try and do something where we can get audience members. Um, and we'll be trying to do a few of them. So don't worry if it's a case that you missed one. They'll be recorded and we'll try to take it sort of by areas of Scotland if we possibly can to make it fair so that everybody's kind of represented. Yeah. And it's about independence. It's about Scotland. We want to hear from independence supporters. If there's any, because mate, there's some unionists watching the podcast. I'm sure there is. And hiya, what's it was like watching good looking folks? I mean, I don't mind speaking to guys that are unionists, but as long as you've got Ken, I always say that it's when they can't take it, mate. They can't, they can't, they can't understand. They don't want to understand. They've been so indoctrinated. They don't think their whole life. Get up through school and go out supporting a certain club and doing this and weaving. They just can't think, well, all my life I've been lied to. All my life I've been used as cannon fodder, basically. Again, all, I've been told a bloody lie about Britain and Scotland. And huh? Poor Scotland this, poor Scotland that. We need England. It's absolute bullshit. And I, I think a lot of them really want to know, but they just don't, they don't want to give up what they've been, the life they've been living like. You know what I mean? The, the lie. But it's, again, so as you say, John, People are indoctrinated to believe a certain thing yeah. and it's reinforced daily by right. <clears throat> the media um, that you well, I mean, just think of the newspapers. I, mean, I yep. think it's very profound that you know, all these people go and buy a newspaper, they buy the Sun, the Star, the Express, the Daily Record. I mean, you're paying them to indoctrinate you. That's all that is. So that's, it's the greatest scam in the world. You run up, give them your 50, 80 pence a day, and he'll give you a load of propaganda the one you swallow. That's the best oh. scam in the world. Right, hold the bus right there, right? Because you mentioned the scum, right? That one we don't really talk about, and we don't do anything with. Mm-hmm. Did you see the picture with Nicola Sturgeon holding one of them? To both uh, the door? No, right. holding the, the scum. Aye, aye. Really? Is there no right. picture or a recent I don't picture? Know, I don't know if it was doctored, right? Yeah. I've, again, I mentioned it just before you said, you mentioned them, right? I thought I just, I've seen it. Just I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you. Right. Remember, I'm sure it's in uh, years gone by there, I think it's two or three elections ago, the, the scum were actually saying, uh, so they were getting some readership in Scotland, they were actually saying vote SNP. They were supporting Nicola Sturgeon in Scotland. It's just a lot of shite. She paid the media a few million pounds. 
She paid the media. She paid the media three million pounds. Yeah, we're going to go up tits up, and they gave them money. Why? Why give them money to slag us off? Tell lies, anti propaganda. Why? Why do that? Over that situation, what a lot of bollocks, eh? Did she maybe was the money perhaps given? I mean, this is a question. I don't know, right? So this uh-huh. is a question that probably shouldn't be answered, to be honest. But it's a question that should be put out there, right? Has the money perhaps been used as a way to buy fever to prevent other things from being printed? Who knows? Rather than, rather than um, to stop them printing anti SNP. No, again, it's a question. It's no, I don't know. Um, a high political question, that's right. <laughs> I, I mean, when you look at like, I, I, I mean, I kind of get back to treatment Alex Salmon, Mark Hopkins, Craig Murray, but, but uh-huh. I, I can't, I, I can't look past that. That's that's the case. Hold on, why would you like wings and all, like, as much as people. I found wings to be a wee bit abrasive at times, right? I didn't mm-hmm. agree with everything that's... But 7 out of 10 in accuracy as far as journalism is concerned is better journalism than your mainstream that you're getting, right? So, and to be honest, everything that he said and everything he said leading up to before everybody thought he was going off his fucking nut <laughs> has been proven to be accurate. With us, with, see with us child sex stuff there, no? Mm-hmm. It's been proven to be accurate. So, what... What else? What else does? What else needs to be proven? Does she need to be fucking caught with a, a Union Jack fucking knickers on? Like I don't know, doing something that she shouldn't be doing with somebody that she shouldn't be doing it with in France. Uh, perhaps. It goes back to the thing I've always said about the SNP, mate. The fear to kick the dog too hard. It's just, it's like they get away with getting a wee shove and a nudge, and they think that's good enough. But if we want to get out this corrupt, immoral, bankrupt union, you need to do more than kick the fucking dog. You need to boot it down the state. And I don't, I mean, I'm not talking about I'm hyperdetics, I'm talking here, but they kick the hornet's nest. They need to boot it as hard as they can, not just tiptoe around about it and say, oh, look, we're, we're standing up for Scotland. They need yeah, to the boot SNP, it out the park. The SNP and Greens are talking about dragging the dog and no fucking boot it, I mean? <laughs> fucking trackpots. Um, right, anyway. We've, 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 we've spoke for a wee bit, mate. We've covered uh-huh. a, a, fair, a fair bit. But I wanted to finish up the... Um, right, because obviously we, we have a laugh. We, we, we try, and, try and make this thing a wee bit more tall rather than, right, be having a laugh. But... Um, but I need, I, this needs to be serious. Is Boris Johnson setting England up for, for a fall by his approach to the, the pandemic? Mm-hmm. The, numbers, the numbers are climbing, climbing, climbing. Now, ultimately, Scotland's getting a, a knock-on for that. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to stop them from having a democratic right, but we don't want to stop them from the damaging themselves irretrievably as a, as as a people as a people because well no one English. No, I mean we've got some of us have got family and friends that, that are across the border. Um is he putting them in danger unnecessarily? Undoubtedly so yeah they're just so so desperate to get it over with. I mean they're now saying we're moving from pandemic to endemic, which basically means it's here and you love it like the common mm-hmm. cold. Uh, and that 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 and now they were putting the stories about it was it was leaked they put it out as a test story to see what the reaction was. But these kits that you're getting for the chemists, they're wanting to make them uh, basically take them out, can make them unavailable. They're only available through a hospital app for or for old folks' homes and everything else. So they're putting leaking stories out to to see what the reaction is. Uh, and they'll be thinking, well, if you kind of test for it, then you kind of prove you've got it. So the numbers go down, and that gets us what we want. So uh, the, the, he's played a very risky game, uh, and there's 150,000 people dead with what he's got away with so far. So he also thinks, well, another 150,000 is not going to make much difference. They're that stupid; they'll still vote for me. And they, well, we'll, we'll get, we're very apathetic in Scotland as well as England. They don't, we don't tend to do what the French they take to the streets and other else and demand our rights. We, we're very weak at sitting back, letting go on because we're more interested in football, drink, drugs, gambling. 
keep us apathetic. You know what I mean? So that's 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 a fair thing about us. We, we don't we're, we're not willing to stand up for our rights as much as we should as other countries do. When more yeah. rights are getting taken away from us every day, can they put the rights to protest? You're getting criminalised with that as well now. Uh, I mean, I know we've got the old alliance with France, which is still active, um, and we've got that the, the, the Celtic Gael, Gaelic blood or whatever you want to keep it, right? But if you have a look at, I mean, I've I've heard the the, the saying before that the Irish are like Scots, it's like we boys. I have heard that. Mate, I I don't believe with the situation that we're in. I, I I genuinely don't believe the situation that we're in. And when I say we, I'm talking about Scotland. I'm talking me and you, right? But we're on it, right? We're all joke Tamsin's bairns. Um, mm. But we're attached to a union, right? That is, it's a, it, for me, it's its weakest in the full yeah. the, the historical, the, the full history of the union, right? For, yeah. for everything that's happened. With the people that's got it's control the way the the monarchy's flailing with Prince Andrew. Like he could be something porridge. You know what I mean? They'll be I don't think he's a reality show. I don't think he's never well. He could be asked to testify in America, but he'll not go over to America to testify. He'll have to come to a settlement or something. And that's where if he gets if it needs to go his way in court, then he's gonna have to come to a settlement. And having a settlement makes him look guilty. It's sin. But, I but me. He, and this is the thing, he's like, he sell, he's like, in Charlie, Switzerland, these ski, ski resort in Switzerland, or ski chalet in Switzerland for something like 17 million pound, 32 million euros or something like that, right? And his lawyer was, was arguing the case that he should be exempt, but because he was included within Jeffrey Epstein's third parties, right? Mm-hmm. So his reason for getting halfway with raping children is that it was exempt because somebody paid a hundred five hundred thousand pounds, five hundred thousand dollars. Because mm-hmm. that's what it is, like, let's be honest. It's I mean it's raping children, it's raping yeah, it's, disgusting. No, it's not sex the underage kids, it's raping because mm-hmm. you're you're going against the uh, legal age of consent, so they're not able to give adult consent, so it's statutory rape, isn't it? Um, and yet, we need to, I, that's, that's if it's not making sense to me, John, we need to recover in this union. What? Recover in manure. So, like, I know manure's good for roses, isn't that right? but hold on, we're up to we're, we're neck and shite here with us. Well, you've, got, you've got the Prime Minister's well, sister. Better. You've got the Prime Minister's sister who says she felt sympathy. It's hard not to feel sympathy for Ghislaine Maxwell. She came out and said that publicly. She felt sorry for her. I mean, that just shows you their contempt, uh, that how, how contemptuous British high society is, the elite, their utter contempt and disdain for people they consider below them. They're just on a different planet. They're on a different planet, and no good one at that. But that bastard dies brainwashing called the people on Watch and try not to mention, right? Um, they interviewed the brother the next morning. Uh-huh. <coughs> Gave ear thing. Now, when, when, and where does the brother of somebody that she's been found guilty of um, supplying children to be raped and abused and grooming kids, mm-hmm. does the brother get the chance to? Rebuff the, 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 the on, mm-hmm. on on national on national TV. When, when where and when and where does this ever happen anywhere else? But mm-hmm. and, but she's still being tight and need to recover in this. Like ah uh, I I'm looking up, mate. I'm looking up, but you know what I'm at. I'm the, well, the truth of the matter is, as much as people say all about Boris Johnson's this, that and everything else, he's the greatest poster for Scottish independence ever going to have. And I don't want Boris Johnson to resign. I want him to stay. I want him to stay for as long as possible, at least another till 2023, if something does happen. Because he's the biggest poster boy for independence. Forever. Alex Salmon said it the same. He said, well, he's the biggest poster boy for independence we're ever going to have. He's, he's the ideal 
he, it's what he is the British establishment. He is the, the poster boy for British, everything that's wrong with Great Britain. Uh, so we need him to stay in place and to, to maximise what he is and what he represents. Right, I, I disagree. You could stay there at 2055 if, if, oh, if, yeah. if they desire that. But we don't have to be. No, that's right. We're we so, the um, there was one of the Business for Scotland ones, see that in the SNPG legal paper or something like that about UDI. Mm -hmm. to, uh, Gordon McIntyre Kemp was talking about, U, talking about UDI. What's your thoughts on UDI? Great, I guess if we could somewhere we could make it happen day tomorrow. <laughs> I'll take any against his independence. It's just it's it's have people having a, a strong enough bunch of people to deliver it and to be knowledgeable enough about it to stand up and make it happen. Uh, but if we're just relying on a couple of individuals using their spare time today, it's not gonna happen. And if we have a look at if we, if we go by the Freedom of Information Acts that a freedom of information has been sought already by people. There's been no progress by SNP. There's been no people well, assigned to independence. Mm -hmm. um, so we're coming up to obviously we've got the council elections in May. Mm -hmm. um, do you think people should use their votes to vote on parties in the council elections that will send a message that? Should, uh, an undeniable message to the SNP that if they don't move, they're finished. Yeah, well, that's that's up to each individual to choose to do that. I would think that's a bloody good idea. Uh, Aye. To give a, a kick in the pants and say, look, you're not the only you're not the only pony in town here. There's there's others up and coming who will gladly take on the mantle if you don't want to deliver. They might be far away from delivering it. The other lot. Yep. Is it in here? Uh, but uh, a, a kick in the pants does the end any harm. Well, it might I mean, focus a few minds to think, wait a minute, this lot day half as well in the council elections or they did, if they did in a, a national election, then they could be in trouble. So, hey, bring it on. I mean, the lines a bit. Aye, I, I see the end of the day. But I'm an independent sewer, right? It's the, so if your party's telling me that you're getting independence and your policies are, are, are hinting towards it and you're going that way, then I'll back your party. Yeah, I'm the right? same. Like, I, my I vote's up for grabs. Right? Oh, if, you, if you're a unionist party, you can go to fuck, right? If you're a unionist party, just don't even think about it, right? Just vote, right? We're not interested in you. We're talking about proper independence parties, right? So that, so that excludes the Greens and all. <laughs> <laughs> right? So um, I... No, genuinely, uh, we, need, we need to put a serious message out. We like to have a laugh and a carry on, but put a serious message out. Obviously, the council elections are coming up. If you've got to be running for those council elections, we'd like to get your profile raised a wee bit. I'd like to each other and get your message out. Get in touch with us and we'll try and get something for you. Um, whether it be a 15-minute, 20-minute podcast, um, we'll get a wee, a wee message out for you. So we'll get in touch with us. We come on here and we just talk to you about politics. We'll try and have a laugh and we'll ask you things that maybe other folk with me are not always political. So, get in touch. <laughs> right, anyway, John, I was saying good night for the night, man. It's on you. Go. Say that again, pal. Missed that bit. I'm just saying, it's time to say good night for this evening. Aye, that's, that's, that's us, bud. I think we've, we've chewed the cud once again. <laughs> uh, Think we regurgitate it. That's it. I, mean, well, I look forward to our, our next day, uh, our next catch up session. We will have an interview shortly, mate. Um, I'm just trying to get things organised and I'm leaving some dates open and target this uh, this uh, independence folk forum uh, confirmed. Right. Um, hope to have that confirmed in the next few well. Um, so stay tuned to our channel uh, for updates. It's good night for everybody at Tweet Street Scotland, the Cinema Bridges, the Jamie Watson, the Satirical Soul Scottish Independence. Good night. <laughs>